guys, welcome to a London vlog. I just realized this is probably one of the first vlogs that I've started in the evening because I always start my vlogs off with good morning guys, but I guess I'm gonna have to start, let's start this all over again. Good evening guys. That sounds and feels so weird, but yes, I'm officially back in London. It feels so weird to be back from Thailand. It does feel good to be back. It was so nice to see my family yesterday and it was nice just to be home in our flat and just to have a home cooked meal. So that is the benefit of coming home is just all the things that I love. But I can say that I already do miss the sun, the sea, and I do miss Thai food. I feel very relaxed. I feel very like at peace after a long, long restful holiday. But we are literally straight back into work. We're, as you can tell, I'm not at home. I wish. But it does feel like a second home. I'm at the Cadogan, which is a Belmond hotel. I stayed in the Belmond in Thailand, in Koh Samui. That was the first place we stayed. And I just love, love, love staying at the Belmond hotels. It kind of does feel like a second home. They're always so welcoming and we know quite a few of the hotels very well now. So we're staying here because Burberry have a pop-up in Harrods and we are going to attend an event tonight. So we just thought that the Cadogan is right around the corner from Harrods and we're so jet lagged. It's currently, what time is it? I think it's right now, it's like six o'clock and I'm, I'm half asleep. I'm so tired. So we just thought it was a great idea just to get a hotel around the corner from Harrods because I've got to go back to Harrods tomorrow morning to shoot in the pop-up. So it's just a lot of back and forth from Harrods. So we were just like, let's stay close by because we are seven hours behind, whereas in Thailand, we're seven hours ahead. So it's six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. It's one o'clock in the morning. I should be fast asleep by now. My head is telling me, Sarah, you are tired. You should be asleep, but I'm trying to fight it. So we're going to have a nice busy evening to keep us awake. We're quite hungry. So we're going to go and get some food at Zuma, which is a hotel literally a 10 minute walk so we're gonna go there check that out get some food at us and then go to the event i'm all dressed and this is what i'm wearing burberry do the best trenches in the world it's a classic staple piece and i have a black trench and then inside is the tartan print which is very iconic and then i have just a shirt which is corduroy very interesting and then some kind of gingham baggy pants Oh, my bag. This is a new style of bag and it's called the night bag. It has a really cool gold detailing, which is like a clip. So I'm trying to attach it onto this hoop here. That goes there. Cute. And then I'm just gonna wear it across body because that's just the most comfortable for me right now. Cute. I'm gonna do no makeup for this event. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna do a full face of makeup so that I look shoot ready, but I'm just too tight right now to put on any makeup. But because I'm tanned, I can kind of get away with not wearing any makeup right now, which is quite nice. Since we're staying at such a fabulous hotel, I gotta give you guys a room tour. I cannot wait to come home to you. Bed, that's the bed, <laughs> and then it's just like a sofa seating area, TV. And up here is just like the wardrobes where Bash is just getting changed. And then the bathroom. Isn't this just the bathroom of your dreams? This bathtub, oh, I would sleep in that if I had to. It's just oh, so good. And that is just really quick room tour for you guys. Okay, we're gonna go and get some dinner. So I'll bring it all with me. It's so weird to be vlogging in London again. Also, can I just say 4,000 subscribers. I know in the grand scheme of things, it's not loads, but to me, that's 4,000 invested people watching long form video content. To me, it's amazing and I am incredibly grateful. So fingers crossed that I can get to 10K at the end of this year. So at the end of 2024, I am aiming to get 10K followers. And if I can achieve that, 
that would be a dream come true. But guys, thank you so much for watching my videos and following everything. It's just been so it's such a fun year. I'm super grateful just for those 4,000 subscribers. Yeah, that really made my day when I looked at that. It, it was this morning. I had a look, I went onto my channel and it was like officially 4K. I was like, yes. Just finished dinner. Food was really, really good, but oh my God, the guy that served us was so rude. He just, he was just so blunt, so unhelpful, didn't want to serve us, Treat, treated us like S-H-I-T. It was crazy. I've never experienced such bad service from a waiter before. And he kind of seemed like he was in like a manager's position because he wasn't wearing like a uniform or anything. He was kind of in his own clothes. I just can't believe that we were treated like that at dinner. Oh, oh well, at least the food was good. That's that's a bonus. But my gosh, I, I don't know. Because of how we were treated, I don't know if we, I'd go back. At least we ate and we are just getting some chewing gum and then we're gonna make our way to the event. It doesn't even look like I have been asleep because it's still so, so dark outside. It's currently seven in the morning and we are walking to Harrods to go and shoot at the new Burberry pop-up, which is very exciting. Luckily, because we're so jet lagged, I am wide awake. Because for me right now, it's seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 2 p.m. So I would have had lunch in Thailand and I'd probably be by the beach chilling. But no, now I am in London and I am back to work. Bash is shooting me on the film camera, which is really just perfect because a lot of Burberry's campaigns are also shot on film camera. So for us, this whole relationship, it just works because we are also equally obsessed with shooting purely on a film camera. Also me being a London girl, Burberry's a London brand, it's just the perfect combination. diddly done so nice to tick that off the list of things that we have to do today now i am craving a coffee i can't believe i did a shoot with no coffee so we're gonna go to Panteshion. is that how you pronounce it Panteshion. No, that's a restaurant. well the building is called Panteshion, and that's a really really nice cafe upstairs but downstairs there's a little coffee shack where we're gonna get a little takeaway coffee and this is the building. It's opposite the most fanciest waitress you'll ever come across it in your life. No, it's closed. <gasps> oh, my heart. Why? Why? <laughs> Back to the hotel now. And then we're gonna get ready for the next project that we have to shoot. Then we'll get coffee. Wish me luck. Instead, I'm having the hotel coffee. Bash has got tea. It's really cute in here. Wow, 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 what a long day, but a very, very successful day. Um, I managed to get a last minute appointment with my hair guy. So I'm gonna go and quickly get, well, quickly, it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna go and get my hair done. I'm gonna keep it a surprise for you guys what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna wash my hair so it's all washed before. And then I'm gonna get my hair did. 
my goodness, after today, I am knackered. So overall, we shot in the Burberry pop-up inside Harrods, and then we had a meeting with a client, but it was in a kind of members club where you're not allowed to film, so I couldn't fill you in on that part. But I just had like a little meeting with my Dior family, and then we shot a project for Sunglasses Hut, which I also didn't, didn't film because we literally had such a small time frame of blue sky in London. It is a struggle to get a blue sky. 90% of the time I have grey sky. So we were just like, no messing around. Let's just get this sh the shots that we need. And we did. So literally I got home, I had a shower, I got changed and now I'm going to get my hair done, which I'm so excited about. I feel like we have come back to London full on. Going from Thailand, where we were so peaceful every day, taking our time to do everything, it makes me realise how the city life is just so hectic. I definitely desire the quiet life a little bit, but you know what? I've got to work hard, as hard as I can, and then hopefully I can retire in two years in the countryside. <laughs> but realistically, that's not going to happen, guys. I'm not going to retire in two years, but it would be the dream. I just came across this little house which has books in, so I'm guessing that you can just walk by and grab a book. And then on top it said community, which is so cute. I feel like in London, there isn't much of a community feel. Well, especially where I'm living at the moment. When I used to live in like Highbury and Islington, which is more North London, there was such community feel. We would see like the same dog walkers every day. We'd have chats with them in the park, but I haven't had that feeling since. And even prior to that, I've never had like a community feel in London. But maybe that's just something you get in like the countryside and smaller villages, which is also why I want to move out into that peaceful side of life because like it's so nice to have that sense of community and I just feel like London doesn't have that. But guys, don't get me wrong, I still love living in London to an extent. <laughs> Good morning guys, I hope you're all well. Yes, I have long hair and I'm very, very excited about this. It's just, it's so nice having these extensions in, especially now that fashion week is coming up because it means that I can literally wet my hair and I can leave the house and feel really confident and feel really put together. And it doesn't really, I know it's so long, but it doesn't acquire too much looking after. The main purpose of this long hair is fashion week since that's coming up very soon sorry, I'm in a rush and I thought, you know what, if I don't start vlogging now, then I'm not going to start vlogging for the rest of the day. I'm rushing to pack for a content shoot that we have today. We have rented out a hotel room, so we're going to smash out a handful of projects and I'm going to take you guys along with me. I feel like you're really getting an insight into how work works for me. So it's really nice being able to show you guys all of the behind the scenes and how me and Bash work. And today I'm going to put extra effort into showing you behind the scenes because we have a lot to shoot and it's all very exciting and it's all beautiful, beautiful products and projects. I'm just going to pack this, my best friend, I'm going to fill her up with cloves and things and then we're going to make our way to the hotel. <laughs> We just arrived at the hotel room and I'm going to show you the room. This is like the living area. It's a very old school feel, the landmark London. Excuse the mess guys. I love the fireplace here. I think it's really chic. And then we have the bed. Hi Bash. Hello. And then the bathroom. So it's very English old school. It's cute. But before it gets dark, we're going to shoot this look that I've been waiting to shoot for a long time. We're gonna do it street style themed, and then we'll get going with the content inside the hotel room. We just got back to the hotel room and now we are shooting 
the Good Girl fragrance by Carolina Herrera. This fragrance has followed me for the last year and a half and every time I shoot this fragrance it always creates such an amazing reel. So Bash is just over here shooting the stills and this is how the fragrance bottle looks. It's very chic. We just finished shooting, guys. It is so hard to create a reel and vlog at the same time because I'm so invested in the reel process that I can't even begin to think about vlogging as well as that. So I'm really sorry if you didn't get as much of an insight as you thought you would. But here is how the reel looks and it was very, very successful. with the concept of the whole selfie idea so that worked really nicely and it is now six o'clock and I'm ready for bed but sadly I cannot sleep because we're going to one of our favorite restaurants in London which we're so excited about with friends and friends so that will be the perfect ending to the day <laughs> How cute is this hat? It's like a 90s Kangola style, if I said that right. This is how it looks, swiveled round. And I said to Bash, I think I look like a chimney sweep. <laughs> Bash, are you gonna do an unboxing for us? <laughs> you got the bag. It's so nice. Oh, it's gonna make a great camera bag. And a weekend bag. Very cool. just got back from our very productive hotel stay where we managed to complete three projects for us that is amazing and that's a huge weight lifted off my chest work-wise just knowing at the back of my mind that those projects have been ticked off the list now I'm home and I have been craving apple juice for the last two days but not any apple juice guys a freshly squeezed hearty apple juice made by me even though I've never made it before. So time to set up the juicer. Setting up this juicer is a little bit long but the worst thing is washing it up. That is the longest part but you know what it's going to be worth it. Guys if you don't own a juicer I would highly recommend buying one because they are just so good. And I haven't actually made a fruit juice with this juicer. I've only really made my celery juices with it. So this will be a first. My favorite type of apples are pink lady apples. So I'm gonna try, try it with these. And then I'm gonna do some carrots and then a little bit of ginger to give the apple juice a kick. So this is more like a carrot, apple and ginger juice rather than a pure apple juice. But I thought I'd do this because 
these carrots and this ginger need to be used, otherwise it's gonna get thrown away. So this is a great way to use up fruit and veg that is ready to go out of date, make it into a juice. I'm going to peel these carrots because they are a little bit muddy and I don't want grains of mud in my juice. And then I'm gonna cut off all the bits, like the stem here, as I don't want to juice that either. I don't think that will taste very good. And do I do the same for the ginger? Ginger's a lot more awkward because it's such a weird shape. But I think I'll be okay for the ginger. I'll just give it a rinse. Just checking if it's working. Yes, it's working. Let's give this a go. Bash has come to help me because I was struggling, <laughs> struggling a little bit. Okay, so that's that's how much juice comes out of five apples, two, no, three really, really small carrots and a whole, I didn't use a, I used like half a knob of ginger. I underestimated the juice that comes out of ginger. I thought it was gonna be a lot, but nothing came out of how much I was originally gonna put in. We have some really cute um, jars from Amy Lee on door. We used to buy their orange, our orange juice from there. And we kept these jars because we thought they would come in handy one day and look how handy they've come in. So I'm gonna store them in here and then place them in the fridge. How cute is that? Oh, guys, maybe I should make a juice brand. Sarah's, Sarah and the juice. Forget Joe and the juice. It's all about Sarah and the juice. And that is a freshly squeezed, no, you can't squeeze apples, a freshly blitzed apple juice. Yes, let's taste it. So I'm gonna put the leftovers in here. And let's do a taste test. Mmm. This is like the perfect amount of ginger. Here, Bash, have a taste. It's delicious. Oh, I think I could do a juice cleanse, guys. I could do a, a three-day juice cleanse where I make my own oh, This could make a great YouTube video. A three-day juice cleanse where I create my own juice menu, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'll make them with you guys on YouTube. I'm gonna do it. That's gonna be a video I wanna do after Fashion Week. I can't, because fashion week is soon approaching and there's no way I can do a juice cleanse over such a busy period because I'll just go crazy but yeah after fashion week because during fashion week we are eating out all the time we're not eating the healthiest food we kind of just grab what we can here and there so guys is that something you would want to see how does Sarah deal with doing a three-day homemade juice cleanse Let's give it a go. of cooking I made the juice oh no my bulb is going off so it's flashing sorry I made the juice which I'll have tomorrow and then I made a pasta sauce which I'm also probably gonna have tomorrow or for the first part of the week next week and then we made a massive chicken and rice dish which will last us a couple of days so because we've got very busy days ahead we just wanted to have loads of food in the fridge so we didn't have to worry about cooking when we're on the go and when we're really really busy so with all this we can literally just warm it up and we're good so it's basically like a little day of meal prepping which is something I would like to try and do more often good morning guys I hope you're all well so I have something very exciting I'm about to do it's a little bit disgusting but I will explain I'm going for my very first colonic if you do not know what a colonic is it's basically a form of cleansing of your bowels so a tube gets put up your bum and it and then gallons of water is 
flushed into you and then all of your this emoji is sucked out of you because over time feces can accumulate and it just stays there within your body and this is going to be a form of completely flushing out all of the toxins and unwanted poops, feces with inside me and just clearing it. The reason I'm doing this is because Bash has had it before and he said it's really helped him with his digestion and he feels amazing afterwards. And since I've come back from Thailand and I've kind of been back to my normal diet, I have become more bloated than I usually would be. In Thailand, I felt like the diet there was perfect for me. I was always feeling lean. I wasn't so bloated. Now I'm back into London life. I am a little bit more bloated than I was on holiday. So I really, really hope that this is gonna help. Maybe I should do a little before and after of my bloat. Oh my God, guys, this is actually so gross, but it's gonna be so, so good for me. I have friends who have done it and it's like a, a little secret that people don't tend to tell you about, but I'm telling you all about it. So let's go and have a colonic. This is me right now. I have had one coffee today. I haven't had any breakfast. Like, of course, this isn't like really, really bad bloating. But um, for me, this is quite a bloat. So this is before. And when I come back, I'm going to show you guys the after. I just got back from my colonic, guys. Oh, what an experience. Tequila. You do not know what I just got up to. You have no idea. <laughs> okay, so I feel amazing. I feel very clear. I feel very empty. It was a bit of an uncomfortable experience just because it's a bit weird to do something like that, but it is incredible. The amount of, oh, the amount of, this emoji that came out of me was crazy. Even the woman was like, wow, I'm shocked. You were so, so blocked up. And this could be why I feel tired all the time. This could be why my skin gets bad sometimes. There could be, this could be the reason to so many of my problems. So I'm really excited to see from now, sorry, Someone was at the door, we had a delivery. Yeah, this could be the reason to so many of my problems. So I'm excited to see what it will be like for me and my body and my energy levels from today onwards. I'm guessing that like a lot of you are gonna have like a lot of questions like, did it smell? No, it did not smell. The woman, she made me feel so comfortable. Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath because I just ran up and down stairs. The woman, she made me feel so, so comfortable. You have to be like strip, like hip downwards and you are exposed, but you have a towel covering you. So you don't, um, she doesn't see much. It was just a really good experience. And she was just like having a chat with me. She made me feel really, really nice and relaxed. Afterwards, I didn't need the toilet really because everything had come out, had been flushed out. But she said that she used to have really bad skin. She used to get sick all the time. And then she started doing colonics like once a month and she swears by it. So that's why she's opened up her clinic. So it was very interesting. Like right now I feel very like lean. Oh, I'll show you my stomach. Cause I just, I don't feel very bloated. Like I feel good. I feel really good actually. Yeah. So I would highly recommend colonics for anyone who hasn't done one before. Just go and do one. It, it doesn't hurt. Like nothing was painful. It was just more, I was a bit uncomfortable at times because it is like your stomach is getting massaged and that's when you get your stomach massaged, it isn't particularly a relaxing feeling. So yeah, nothing like that is going to be a hundred percent painless, but this for me wasn't painful at all. I'm gonna do that again. Like I wanna do it maybe like once every two months. It's an amazing way to flush all of the toxins out of your body and just to kind of
give your insides a fresh start. Okay, this is my stomach now. You can see here, like I'm a little bit more defined. I'm a lot less bloated. Like I wouldn't say it's like a dramatic change, but yeah, I do see a little bit of difference. I can tell you one thing guys, that I am starving. I guess by what she did, she completely emptied me out. So now I need to fill myself up with something. Um, you saw earlier in the video that I made a pasta sauce. So I think maybe I'm gonna just like cook up some spaghetti and mix in some pasta sauce. She did say though to have a light lunch and dinner. And this is not gonna be light, is it? Maybe it's not the best idea for me to do this, but it's kind of all I have at the moment. Oh, I don't know what to do now. I can't have a heavy lunch. Damn it. Okay, so I'm sticking to my original plan and I'm gonna have pasta, but I'm not gonna have too much. I'm just gonna have like a small amount and then that should keep me all well and good for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to my friend's house for dinner. But I was just looking at our chart and we have so much to do this week. Oh my God. So we have to do a feed post for Jimmy Choo, my favorite shoe brand. We have to shoot a feed post for Burberry, which is like in light of their show here in London during fashion week. We need to shoot a post for, for Furla, but that will be shot at home, fingers crossed. We have to shoot a new Louis Vuitton bag, which I recently got gifted. Oh, sugar. And then I have to shoot for Sunglasses Hut, which is a whole day of shooting, but luckily they've organized that. That's not on our behalf. Guys, how am I gonna do this? But I will get it done. But it's all very exciting. Lots and lots and lots of work. And then after this week, I'm straight off to Milan for Milan Fashion Week, which is very exciting. But maybe we can get away with shooting this Louis Vuitton bag at home. That would be good. And if we can shoot Furler at home, that would be two posts shot at home. And then I don't need to leave the house. That would be nice. I do love, this is why I love YouTube because I feel like I can just film at home and not have to worry about being in the cold because that's how you know we're busy because we have collections and deliveries being sent here all the time. Um, yeah, so we're very, very busy this week. And having a dog and being busy is so hard because we have to manage our schedule to like such precision. We have to make sure we're at a certain place at a certain time, but then we have to factor in the time that we have to drop tequila off at my parents, blah, blah, blah. So it's all, it's all a whole big thing, but it's worth it for your dog. For the second love of my life. Look, here is some broccoli. You love broccoli. Mmm. You're a lucky girl to have me as your mother, aren't you? Mwah. So I kind of wanted to use everything up in my fridge. So I'm, I had leftover broccoli from a pasta I made the other day. So I just use that and mix it in with the spinach and it looks a little bit nasty but it's actually so delicious. I added fresh lemon juice into it, salt, pepper, extra virgin olive oil at the end. Mmm, that's like a balanced lunch. I have my greens and I have my carbs, my spaghetti. Guys, if you know me, spaghetti makes me so happy. I, I think this would be my death row meal if I had to choose, just spaghetti and tomato sauce. Talking about death row meals, this is a conversation I actually love having with my friends. We always ask each other, so what would be your death row meal? Mine would definitely be pasta with tomato sauce. For starters, I would probably choose 
Hmm, this changes for me, by the way. Okay, for starters, I'd probably choose like a really good mushroom arancini. I just love how the breadcrumbs makes it so crunchy and the cheese makes the risotto inside the arancini so creamy and cheesy. Oh, so like a really, really good mushroom arancini. And then maybe a really good, oh, guys, this really has me thinking and inspired. Maybe that's what I want to make this week. Okay, I'm just thinking about all my favorite foods. They don't particularly go well together, but Bar Baron Jack do a black hummus. So the hummus is made out of black chickpeas and the way they make it is extraordinary. And then they grate walnuts on top, which are so, they all, they, it looks almost like Parmesan, but it's not. So I would also choose the black hummus with some cucumber sticks or carrot sticks to dip in it. And for mains, pasta with tomato sauce, and then maybe with a side of popcorn chicken from KFC. I know this just is a weird combination, but I do love the little popcorn chickens at KFC. For dessert, what are we doing for... Okay, so for dessert, maybe a really hot cookie with a cereal ice cream. And this is something that I've had at a place called Knack before in London. It's like a hot cookie and they do like Frosties ice cream on top and then they sprinkle Frosties on top of the Frosties ice cream and it is oh, to die for. So I would probably ask for that alongside maybe a really good apple crumble with custard. I do love apple crumble with custard, but for me, it's all about the crumble and custard. I could just do the crumble and custard, no apple happily. But yeah, probably an apple crumble and custard. <gasps> or a sticky toffee pudding. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to have all three of those. Sticky toffee pudding, apple crumble and custard, and the nut cookie with Frosty's ice cream. What would be your death row meal, guys? I just got changed because I wanted to get into something completely cozy. It just started pouring with rain outside. I had so much content that I needed to shoot today and it's just not gonna happen now because everything is required on location somewhere in London and it's just so gray and it's pouring with rain. So it's just a big no-no. So I decided what could I do with my time that would be really useful and would help me prepare for London Fashion Week. It's time guys for a wardrobe clear out. So Bash and I, we both have a wardrobe like this each. Having this tidy makes things so much easier. It makes packing easier. It makes um, creating outfits easier. Just makes a whole lot of difference. So I thought it'd be fun to kind of tidy up my wardrobe and clear it out and prepare it a bit better. Oh my God, it is actually so messy right now. I'm a little bit embarrassed. What an embarrassing day. Okay, here up top I have my caps and then I have an assortment of skirts, jumpers and blazers and jackets and I got, God knows what's, what this is. And then I have some clothes just thrown in there because I don't like my clothes lying around the house. I just throw them in here. And then all these drawers is like workout stuff, pajamas, trousers, yeah random things in those drawers. And I took the bed sheets off, well, I took the, our duvet off my bed and because I'm gonna throw a bunch of things that I don't want or I'm, maybe I just throw my whole wardrobe onto this bed and clear it that way. But I don't want my bed to get dirty with any like outdoor clothing. So I'm gonna cover my bed sheet with a blanket. I also thought it'd be quite fun to show you guys a little Bit of my wardrobe because I know that some of you have requested it and I really do enjoy like a wardrobe tour slash clear out so I'm just going to show you like some of my staple pieces and my favorite pieces. Right I'm going with the idea of just taking absolutely everything out of my wardrobe and I'm just going to dump it on the bed and go through it that way. If Bash walks into this room and he sees what I'm doing he is going to have a heart attack. Guys, you've only seen one side of my wardrobe. There is also this side as well, which is full of stuff. Considering my job as a content creator who works in fashion, this isn't too bad. I know people who have closets that are just 
this times five. But to be honest, if I kept hold of absolutely everything and didn't put things into storage, I think I would maybe need a, a small flat for all my things. So maybe I'd take that back. Okay, so all the way here are all my jeans, my trousers, skirts, shorts. A girl doesn't need this many oh, pairs of bottoms, do they? No, they don't. It's getting higher. It's getting taller. If the sun miraculously decides to come out, I'm gonna have to rush off and shoot this content outside and then the bedroom is gonna be left as a complete mess. It looks like a tornado has spun into this room. Okay, let's try and get these on the bed. Oh. What am I doing? I need help. I want my mum to come and help me sort this out because God, it's too much stuff. I've decided to go through everything bit by bit. So we're gonna start off with the trousers and the jeans. These jeans are from, where are they from? Oh, Shop Redone. And they have like a really nice washed out feel to this denim. I styled this jean like this. And I, I really do love these jeans, but I don't know if I'm gonna wear them too many times. I'm gonna put three piles. I'm gonna do keep, storage. So things that go into storage are things that I wanna hold onto, but maybe pull out in like 10 years time. And then a pile for giveaway to friends. I've got these really cool leather pants from IMG. -er. They're flared at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna wear these right now, but I could imagine in like, Five years time, these being quite cool if they fit me in that many years. So those can go into storage. And then I have another pair of more like tight fitted um, fake leather pants. I don't know if I'm gonna wear those again. Those can go to a new home, to someone who would really appreciate those. I have this scanny skirt, which I've never worn before. That can go. I've never worn it. So if I've never worn anything, then it's obviously not for me. These, I haven't worn these yet. They have a really cool pocket here and I think they're from, yeah, they're from Saks Pots. I'm gonna keep hold of them because I think I wanna wear these in the summer. I haven't worn those yet either. This is my favorite denim skirt from Our Legacy and that is staying with me for a very long time. Keep. How epic are these jeans? They're, start, they're um, covered in Swarovski crystals and they're the perfect fit jean and they're from Lois Jeans. I am definitely gonna hold on to them, but they can go into storage because I don't wanna lose them, but I'm not gonna wear them anytime soon. I have this Marge schoolgirl skirt. It's a short. <sighs> I don't think I'm gonna wear that. That can go. I have two pairs of white linen pants. These are real linen and these are not real linen. I want to keep these because they're real linen and I reckon I'll enjoy wearing them on holiday. But then do I need two of the same kind of pant? I should really get rid of these because they're not real linen and they look exactly the same. But I kind of preferred wearing them on holiday because I didn't care about getting them dirty. So maybe I'll just keep both. Oh guys, I'm not good at this. I think I'm going to make a fourth pile because I'm not gonna wear these anytime soon as I'm not planning to go on holiday, but I do want them close by so that when I last minute decide to go away, I can just pull these out. So maybe I'll make like a summer pile. So this pile here is to keep summer storage and then to give away. amazing I have already freed up a whole shelf here that's really good wow I'm proud of myself decided for the bottom shelf which is free I'm going to store my agent provocateur corsets which are beautiful look at the detailing on that and they clip up 
at the front and they have lace at the back. These look so nice. This is like the perfect sexy top, nice top with jeans look. Like you know that girls always say, oh, tonight I'm just gonna wear a nice top and jeans. This is the nice top and je with jeans. That's what I would go for. So those, they store long ways and you can't fold them. You can only fold them like that. So those can just store on the side there. I also have a similar top from La Perla. It's like a bra top and then it's lace at the bottom. So that can also store with those two corsets. I'll just place that on top. Oh my God, guys, I feel so organized. I feel so good. Okay, time to empty all of this. <laughs> this dress to wear for my birthday last year sorry I just got a text to wear for my birthday last year it's from Prada and it's really cute it's like a Prada baby doll dress and it has the logo here but I haven't wanted to wear it since and I don't know if I want to keep it maybe I should sell this and then get myself something really, really, really cute that I'm gonna wear all the time. Because my new mindset now is buy things that you're gonna wear all the time. And for one-off occasions, try and loan from the brand, ask a friend like, can I borrow this? And this is the prime example of buying something for one occasion that I'm not necessarily gonna wear again. So I don't know what to do, it's so nice, but I don't know if I wanna wear it. It's cute. I love dressing gowns and I'm starting to build up an endless amount of dressing gowns, but I just can't let go of them, especially when they have my name at the back. Look at this Versace one, it's so cute. So that can stay there at the back of my wardrobe. And then Claridge's gifted me the most softest oversized dressing gown which is great for if I'm ever sick or I'm feeling like having a lazy day, I can lounge around in this. And it also has my initials, SLC, Sarah Lysander Carter. Yes, guys, my last name's Carter. Some of you might not know that because my first name is Sarah Lysander. My parents gave me a hyphenated name. So, but no one's gonna call me Sarah Lysander. So I was like, well, why don't I just use that as my whole name? and not use Carter, but I do like Carter, but my, all my school friends know me as Sarah Carter, but I like all my social media friends to call me Sarah Lysander. Anyway, and then under we have another Versace robe, which also has my name on the back. This dress from Sports Max is beautiful, and I definitely stay, say that this is one of my staple casual dresses definitely staying in my wardrobe. This Ganny dress, I am obsessed with. It has really nice ruching down the center of the dress, and then it kind of has like a balloon shape down at the bottom, but I haven't worn this in ages, so that can go into storage, because I do love it, and I don't want to get rid of this just yet, so maybe I want to wear it in five years' time. This dress is from Fancy Club. It's see-through, it's sheer and it has really nice trails going off here, but I don't think I'm gonna wear this anytime soon. I don't know what to do, guys. What do you think I should do? Okay, I'm gonna maybe just keep it in my wardrobe for now, because it might come in handy for a party soon. I don't know, I don't know. She's staying in the wardrobe. Oh my God, guys, I've been so excited to show you my Chapova Luena pieces, they are the most stapled, stapled, stuck staple in my wardrobe and they are not unstapling from my wardrobe anytime soon. I'm sorry. It's a piece of art. Chapova Loena pieces are just so beautifully crafted. Look at this belt, how it's attached onto the bottom of the dress and then it's attached to the top. It has a small logo there, it's just so fun and it's such an adventurous piece and that is not leaving me anytime soon. This Chapova skirt is quite different. It has a red leather belt attached to it and it has a really cute little chain loop here 
and the colors are so summery so i can't wait to pull this out in the summer i love this and i just style i would style this simply with just a plain white vest and some really fun boots i have this beautiful bottega veneta dress it's kind of like a cow neck low opening by the neck and then it's an open back. It's giving me 70s, it's giving me disco, but I haven't worn this yet. I haven't had a really glamorous occasion to wear this to. So this is gonna stay in my wardrobe or should it go to storage? You know what? You're gonna go to storage because I, I just don't think I have an occasion for this. But I'm sad because I might, I might have an occasion for it soon, but I can't have it lingering around the wardrobe because it's just taking up space. So I need to learn to let go. Another Chapova piece. This is very different from the other two pieces I showed you. So this belt, it's, it really reminds me of like those, what's the word when you wear those things like Western cowboys wear over their legs? Like you put it over jeans. Let me just go and ask Bash what is. Chaps, they remind me of chaps. And then I love the kind of the pleated, plaid skirt underneath. It's giving me House of the Prairie, but make her rock chic. Super cute. And that is staying in my wardrobe. Okay, blazers. Ami Paris, my favorite black blazer. Oversized, big shoulders, big yes. Gani blazer again big shoulders it has a really beautiful opening at the back keep gcds sequin detailed tweed blazer again oversized and big shoulders i'm a huge fan of this style and i haven't styled this with an outfit that i love yet so i want to give this one another chance so that is staying in my wardrobe this is one of my favorite dresses i have ever owned the fit is amazing. It has like an open lace detailing here. It's beautiful. This is the brand. I don't want to pronounce it because I don't think I know how. You can guys can pronounce it for yourselves. I have worn this a lot, but I'm gonna keep it. Another Chapova Loena piece. This is a shorter skirt in comparison to the other two pieces I own. It's amazing. That's a the belt there it has a chain detailing which I think is such a cool touch maybe I'll take this with me to fashion week but yep yeah, that's staying in the wardrobe and it's at home with its sisters I also think about clothes I'm like okay I might not wear this but my daughter who may or may not exist soon one day no guys I'm not pregnant she might want to wear my pieces so I keep hold of the pieces or my niece my niece she might love my pieces so I can give them and save all my great things for her this is a very very cool Danielle Guzu cardigan with like um, safety pins as the buttons but I haven't worn this I think it's so cool but this definitely deserves a new home Ami Paris cardigan, they've very kindly gifted me this piece. I am definitely keeping this, I love this. And I wear it quite often just with like a pair of jeans and a cool cap. <gasps> hi! Look who's come to say hi guys. Are you gonna help me tidy up? Are you gonna help me go through all my clothes and let me know what you love and what you don't like? No? Yep, nope, yep. I think I've shown you guys this, this skirt before. This is like a massive duvet, but it's a skirt. I could probably sleep in this no problem and be warm. But this really, really epic. I love that it's like a parachute shape. It's a big statement piece and it's new. So this is definitely staying in my wardrobe. It's from Y3, if you're wondering. This is one of my favorite casual pieces. It's a GCDS and Pepsi collaboration. And I just love the lightweight of this fabric. It's like a football jersey. So I think that's gonna stay in my wardrobe. This is my Sandro tweed jacket, which I recently got gifted. I shot it very, very recently. And I think that I could have some good wear out of this. So let's keep this in the wardrobe. Call this top my princess top. This is an Osridan 
Osrund and Iris crop top with beautiful balloon sleeves and then gorgeous buttons up there. I recently got this dry cleaned so I've actually been avoiding not wearing it because I don't want to get it dirty and it gets dirty so easy but she is staying in my wardrobe because she's maybe one of the most elegant and beautiful pieces that I own. Look at her, really nice. How epic is this Cezanne jumper? I, I love it. Oh my God, if I wear this and this together, I look like I work in McDonald's or I'm promoting McDonald's, which I shall not be doing. Fast food is bad for you guys. Iconic, never leaving my wardrobe. Burberry, I love Burberry, it's a British brand, it's a London based brand, it's high fashion and I am obsessed with like that schoolgirl chic look so you are not going anywhere. Okay this clear out is really making me want a wardrobe room now, I think I need it, it's time and my god guys I have too many caps up here but they are a mixture of both bash and mine so oh my god this is crazy we definitely need to sort this out oh there's also some scarves up here that i didn't even know about i'm gonna call bash in here to tell me what he wa wants to keep and what he doesn't because this is just too crazy okay mm -hmm. so we have too many caps here so we need to clear them out this cap ella's parents got that to me got that for me so keep get rid Get rid. Keep. Yeah, keep. Keep. Get rid. Okay, I want to keep all of these Ralph Lauren caps because I know that they're going to style really nicely with some Fashion Week look looks. Dior, keep. GCS Capri. Get rid. Get rid. Bash, this is amazing. Chrome Hearts, keep. What's this from? Oh, Stussy. Keep. 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 Yay! Thanks, Bash. You can go now. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty much done now. I'm gonna show you my two piles, my storage pile and my get rid, give to a new home pile. This is my going to storage pile. I think I've done quite a good job and it's not too many things and they're really precious beautiful pieces so I'm really happy to keep them and then I'm going to show you my get rid pile which is bigger sorry I've got the dog cage there in the background which I will move this is everything I'm going to get rid of and I think that's again a healthy amount not too much and a really yeah a generous pile I would say don't judge me for the mess guys please so my wardrobe now is looking minimal, which I'm very happy about. Look at that, that is basically empty. I have folded all my knitwear here and then I do still need to go through these drawers, but I haven't got time for that right now. And then on the other side, this is how we're looking, perfect. Look how much space there is. And then the jeans are looking neat. And now I have space for new things. This completely defeats the point as to why I did a clear out. But you know, I'm a girl, what can I say? I just got dressed as I'm going to dinner with the gals. I thought I'd quickly show you what I'm wearing before I get picked up. I'm wearing my shop redone jacket, which I showed you a picture of earlier when I was doing my clear out. And then my Ralph Lauren jumper, my Versace belt, cos jeans, and my Versace loafers. And then, my new baby my new Louis Vuitton croissant bag which is so cute and we have like a little pouch attached to it here okay guys and that is me ready for dinner with the girls it's a super casual dinner it's at a pub so I'm not dressed up for this really this is my very casual outfit good morning guys Yesterday's dinner with the girls was so, so good. I just finished getting ready because we have London Fashion Week approaching from tomorrow. So I've got a street style look that I wanna shoot in light of Fashion Week. And I'm very excited to shoot this look that I have in mind. It is so me and it's so chic and I'm wearing some of my favorite, favorite brands. So I can't wait to show you that outfit. 
and then I have a really exciting day with Mew Mew today as I'm helping people style looks in the Mew Mew section in Selfridges. Again, in theme of fashion week, so people have events coming up or they simply just wanna check out the new Mew Mew collection. So I'm gonna be going through the SS24 runway collection with clients that they have, which will be really fun. I've done it for them once before, so I kind of do know what to expect. So that will be really, really fun. I'm really, really starting to get busy. I'm a little bit stressed because I'm just like, how am I gonna manage all of this work that I have to do? But I've got Bash's help, so it's all good. And yeah, so we're gonna go to shoot now and I'll take you along with me today. Dinner with the girls was so good yesterday. Oh, it was delicious. And it's so important to have girl time, honestly. I always forget and every time I do have it, I'm like, oh, it's a breath of fresh air. I need this. So yeah, it was lovely. We're so unlucky with the weather today. I swear, every time I've wanted to shoot, it's been like raining or cloudy and gray, but we have to make do with the weather because there's nothing we can do about it. But fingers crossed that we'll get the shot. Are you excited for London Fashion Week? Yeah, it's chill. Yeah, it's good. I only have one show. I'm exclusive to Burberry. So that means I can't go to any other shows during London Fashion Week. But I'm really happy about that because I think Burberry is probably one of the best shows showing during London Fashion Week. Only the best for Sarah. And the look that I have for Burberry is incredible. I recently shot some beautiful content for Burberry with Bash. Well, shot by Bash. Here are the pictures. And um, we're super proud of this work. We've been really proud of the work we've been producing lately. Like all the pictures, the videos, you've killed it. We make a good team. This is the outfit that I am shooting in the rain. It's raining, can you believe it? I have a very cute Valentino box bag with the V logo here. It's very sweet. My leather Versace jacket is very chic. It's given me that mob wife feel. This skirt, I believe it's from Kate and the shoes are my Valentino loafers. So let's shoot in the rain. I hope we get the shot, please. Okay, it really started pouring down with rain, so I had to run inside and grab a coffee. But I think we got the shots that we wanted, so all is good. I just got home from such a long busy day and I'm so happy to be home. I'm gonna eat some dinner and then go to bed. Whew. What a week I have ahead. Let's go. But a very, very exciting day. Before I rush out for my fitting for the Louis Vuitton show, which I'll be attending in Paris. I'm very excited about that. That will be my first Louis Vuitton show that I get, to, no, my first Paris Fashion Week Louis Vuitton show that I get to attend as I have been to one of their cruise shows, which was amazing. But yes, I get a fitting today and then hopefully go and pick up some pieces for Fashion Week to bring with me to Milan as I go tomorrow morning. Oh, I can't believe that this time has come around already. It's kind of like going back to school, but fun school, fashion school, Fashion Week. It's like two weeks of school, it's really great. And then tonight is the Burberry show. And again, this is like my first ever Burberry show. And I am just so ecstatic that I get to go and I, I feel so lucky, but like Burberry is such a me brand. It's London based, I'm London based, and all of the clothes I'm obsessed with. So yeah, we're doing that tonight. Let me show you what I'm wearing for my day of errands. I have an acne suit, which is like a really oversized boy fit, and my Louis Vuitton bag to fit the occasion of my fitting and my Balenciaga sneakers, which are like a track sneaker slash granddad sneaker. 
it's very cool and very comfortable but as you can tell i'm in a little bit of a rush so i need to go let's go there is a new train line called the elizabeth line neither bash or i have been on it before so we're actually quite excited to jump on the elizabeth line this is the elizabeth line usually london tubes are really grungy and dirty so it's actually very nice to be on a fresh tube for once and it feels quite clean this is how the public transport in norway feels in oslo like just clean empty it's quite empty but we are traveling at like an off-peak time yeah it's cute here it'd be nice to live on the elizabeth line it would be such a pleasant journey a pleasant commute this fashion week we want to get the best content that we can so we are just running to a camera store to buy a flash as I love the effect of flash with a digital camera. And it's, I know that we shoot on film a lot, but during fashion week, you want to post as soon as possible. You want to be up to date and with film, you're waiting a few days um, for the pictures to develop. So we want instant pictures this fashion week. So we're going to try and recreate film pictures with a digital camera as close as possible so yeah we are using a few hours of our day to collect the equipment that we need and then I'll make my way to my Louis Vuitton fitting and then I'll pop into the Mimi store to collect my dream boots I cannot wait to bring you guys along with me for that and then I'll get home and we have some couriers coming to pick up some packages and then I gotta get ready for the Burberry show so it is a very non-stop pack day we got the light hold up light hey we spontaneously decided that we were going to attempt to buy this specific polaroid camera which we were hoping to have during milan fashion week however it's been sold out online everywhere and we're quite close to a photography shops so we're gonna run in and see if they have it so Fingers crossed I'll be the happiest girl if they have this Polaroid camera. I think Polaroid pictures are just so cute and look so good, just generally. So yeah, fingers crossed. Okay, so it looks like they have it in the cabinet, so fingers crossed that they have some in stock. Happy days, we managed to buy the camera. As if, like two items, which are so hard to get, we managed to get today. Very happy. We're gonna really produce some amazing content this fashion week, aren't we, Bash? Oh, of course we will. Okay, so we've got a little, 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 little bit of time before my Louvre Tom fitting. So we're gonna go to Mimi first and then Bash is gonna rush home and then I'll go to my fitting. Guys, I have been waiting for these boots for two years to come into my life. I was, it was one of those items that I would think about every single day. I just didn't come around to buying it because they're very expensive. I didn't know if I could justify paying this much for a boot because I have so many, oh my God. But the day has come where they will be mine. So I just got back home from my fitting with Louis Vuitton and I just ordered myself the takeaway because I haven't got time to like cook anything and I have nothing to warm up. So a little takeaway is. So my fitting didn't go so well, guys. It didn't go to plan. I didn't like any of the outfits that they had for me. They just weren't me. And then I tried them on and they didn't fit. So we're going to re schedule the fitting for Paris because she said that there was a lot more options to choose for from in Paris as in London they only have a limited amount of stock so it's a bit sad because you know I was like really excited to like find out what I was going to wear like so far in advance but it's all good because in Paris I get to go to like the official headquarters, you could say, and meet the team that I haven't met before on that side. So I, I just think everything happens for a reason and I'm really help, hopeful that I will find a much better look. Okay, excuse the mess in the background. We are 
in the midst of packing for Milan. We leave tomorrow at 5 a.m. and I'm also trying to get ready for the Burberry show. How beautiful is this checkered dress? It's like a tartan fabric and then it has this epic like belting detail, belt fastening on the side. It's so, so chic. And let's put the rest of the outfit together. I literally just grew like 10 inches and the jacket is insane. It's the classic trench shape with a faux fur, sorry, with a faux fur collar. Whew, I think I'm gonna be a little bit hot, but I'd rather, I'd rather be hot than cold. Cool. I feel so cool. This is so me, guys. I honestly, I'm channeling my inner Burberry girl because it is me. This is just so comfortable. Oh, I feel good. But I can't stay out too late today. So I'm literally gonna watch the show and then come back home because 5 a.m. pickup is early. That means that I have to wake up at like 4.30. Oh, wish me luck. I also forgot to show you guys the bag. This is the rocking horse bag. And you can tell us because it rocks side to side. I just need to pack this with everything I need for the show. I think I'm just gonna simply bring my keys, my vlogging camera, my phone, maybe my Canon digital camera, which is just like a really like old school Y2K style camera, I'll show you. This one, this takes really fun pictures, but I believe the battery is charging. I really wanna show you guys my outfit properly, but the house is just a mess and I've packed my tripod so I can't have this like really far away. I didn't think this through guys. And also packing for Milan has just been so stressful. I feel so unprepared. I did like a big order online for um, new looks, like outfits to shoot so I can shoot some just like pieces that I loved and it hasn't turned up and I still don't have a tracking number. So that's not gonna happen. So I feel a little bit unorganized. It's only fashion, it could be worse. Oh, it's, it's fine. Bash, what are you wearing? Nothing. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk about it. <laughs> you look lovely. Okay, we're pulling up and it seems like the show is in a park and I didn't know this and it's in Victoria Park. Imagine if it's outside. Oh, you can see the tent. I can't see because it's black. No, so should I put the blind on please? No, so, oh, thank you. I can confirm it's, it looks like a circus tent. That's quite cool. First London Fashion Week show. And the last. And we're ending it with a blast. <laughs> we made it. We're walking into the event. I haven't seen anyone that I know yet. I think it's everyone's very quiet. Seen it. It is. Come along with us. <laughs> this is our first show and we're about to be in for a surprise. I'm excited. We're in like a witchy circus den, den thing. Like hay barn vibe. show is over it was so good there were so many looks that I was obsessed with that I can see myself wearing the collection was very London I could tell that it had like some punk influence they were playing Amy Winehouse throughout the whole show and it was quite emotional because I loved Amy Winehouse when I was younger and she is dead now and she made some like iconic music so they played a lot of her tunes throughout which was really nice 
And yeah, there were chunky boots, chunky sweaters, there were long maxi skirts, there was leather, there was everything that I love. Overall, that was a very impressive first Burberry show. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next week for Milan vlog. Fashion week's only just started, this is nothing. We are about to get some good vlogging content for these next few weeks, and I can't wait to bring you guys along with me. I'll see you next week. Bye.